All right, so um, in this video, we're going to start looking at blueprints. Uh, as we've seen in class, blueprints are um, really uh, the tool we use to build in functionality and to create or combine um, geometry with uh, interactive um, uh, elements. And uh, the first thing that we're going to do here is create a um, blueprint for um, the ceiling lights. So uh, the way this is going to work is I'm going to right click and choose Blueprint Class. I'm going to choose Actor. I'm going to name it Canlight. And uh, double click on this. And this is now the Blueprint Editor. So what I want to do is um, uh, add a static mesh to my uh, uh, Blueprint and to do that, the best way to do that is, or the most convenient way to do that is select the item, come over to the details and click the little eyeglass that will shoot me right to that piece of geometry. So it's pre-selected. And then I'm going to go up to the add component button and I'm going to choose static mesh. And you can see because I pre-selected, it knows I want the can light. So I'm going to click that. So with that done, I'm going to then select the can light and left click drag on top of the scene root. And it's basically going to replace that. Um, so let's see if I can get in here. Sometimes zooming in um, on a really tiny object is not the easiest thing to do. But essentially this can light is uh, now in my blueprint and the materials are there and everything. So I'm going to hit compile. And uh, after having done that, I can go to my blueprint folder and there is my can light. So what I like to do is actually drag the blueprint uh, item that I've made into the space um, just so I can get a sense of uh, its orientation and all that stuff. So I know that the emissive light um, is uh, obviously supposed to face down. So I'm going to rotate it 180 there. And um, now what I need to do in the blueprint is add a spotlight. So I'll go to add component and grab a spotlight. And from here, I'm going to take that spotlight and rotate it um, so that it's going the right way, which is not the ceiling but the ground. So we're going to say that rotates 90 degrees. And if we zoom back out, we'll make sure this is going the right way. So that's clearly the correct orientation. Sometimes the item uh, is upside down or turned in a different way than you want it to be. So I was trying to make sure I had the correct orientation there. So what I'm going to do is switch the uh, light color maybe to a little more of a warmer tone. And then um, I can grab that spotlight. And um, there is this kind of like weird little bug. Um, I guess, I don't know if it's a bug, but sometimes when you want to use the transform tool, in uh, the blueprint it it won't change unless you go in and like select the object here in the viewport as opposed to in the list but whatever so um, I just want to get that light uh, fairly close and then um, by accident I named it E so let's rename that um, spotlight And then I'll hit compile again. And so now uh, in the uh, uh, scene, that light and that mesh are connected together. So uh, I need to then place this on the ceiling, like so. And um, I think I'm just going to leave it here in the middle for now. And what I want to do is now build in functionality. I want to be able to turn this light on and off um, through uh, through the hand controllers in my uh, in my VR setup. So to do that, I need to then go to the event graph. We have three tabs: viewport, construction, script, event graph. 
we'll get to the uh, construction scripts later but right now I'm gonna maximize this viewport and these nodes can just be moved off to the side the only one we actually care about in this case is the event begin play so the way this works is in a blueprint you're going to have uh, an event and then you're gonna have an action and so what I want to do is pull this wire and I want to type E N A B L E enable input and that is uh, the node that tells um, Unreal uh, that when we hit the play button to enable the input and the input is our hand controllers motion controllers and um, in this case, we also need to tell it, hey, uh, don't listen to any input. Listen to the ones that are coming from the player only. So we need to right click and type get uh, player. And we want to choose get player controller. And all we need to do here is just plug it in like that. And that's what uh, will keep Unreal from looking for every possible input. And instead, it'll look specifically for our input as the player. So this compile button every time we make a change that little question mark shows up um, so we just hit it every once in a while and then now what I want to do is grab my spotlight and I'm gonna left click drag it into the scene and this is now a reference for that uh, actual light so now what I want to do is pull a wire from here and I'm just gonna simply type uh, toggle visibility and so this uh, element, this spotlight, is now assigned to this function, toggle visibility. So now I need something to trigger that. So you can see how event begin play, that's the trigger to activate the input. I need something to trigger the visibility of that light. So um, normally in a regular project or a non-VR project I would say you can type any key on the keyboard and then start keep, start typing keyboard and you'll see like you get the uh, you get the letter itself so this is the this represents or is the X key on my keyboard and I could do that for any letter right I could type the K and then keyboard and um, if you know how to type you'll find that you can get to just about any key that is actually on uh, your keyboard. Now, we don't want uh, any of these. We want to use our uh, motion controllers. So um, to start, I'm going to right click and I'm going to type the word trigger. And you'll see under input, there is a trigger left and right. So I'm going to take trigger right and I'm going to plug that into toggle visibility. Now, if I hit compile, you'll see that I get the green check and that that's giving me indication that this is working. So um, I hit the play button, it enables input, it knows where to look, and then uh, the input in this case is the trigger on my right controller and that trigger is going to toggle the visibility of this light. So the last thing that I want to do before I get out of here is go back to the viewport and I want to actually select the light and I want to go to rendering and uncheck it. Um, that way the light is not on when I'm actually starting this. So to test this out, first I'm gonna hit save all. Then I'm gonna hit uh, play and hop into VR and uh, make sure it's working. So with my controller in hand, I look over there and I hit the trigger. And yep, sure enough, I'm turning the light on and off uh, with the uh, with the finger trigger, my first finger. Okay, so that's great. So from here, nice and smooth uh, headset drop there. Um, from here, uh, I could populate all of the uh, lights in my ceiling this way. Um, and so let's just do a couple more. So I'm going to grab. Uh, the well I'm just gonna leave those but let's say that I wanted to replace all of these lights so I'm gonna hold alt and drag and uh, move that over here and then let's say I just do another one right here and then I do another one right here so I got a bunch of lights a bunch of extra lights in the scene and um, now uh, there's something that I need to do 
um, in addition to what we've done to get all of them to go. Because right now what's going to happen is if I hit play and I go in and I pull the trigger, only the very last light is going to turn on. And maybe we should just do that to confirm I didn't forget something. Right, so trigger, where are you? How much standing? Yeah, so um, maybe if I teleport there and look around, you can uh, see that only one light is actually turning on. And I should probably up the little, the, the volumetric fog so you can start to see a little bit. Maybe that would help. So let's do that too. And I want to establish um, having all the lights turn on. So let's see, real quick, maybe just amplify that um, uh, cone uh, effect, that fog effect. I'm going to go and grab my spotlight, and in the blueprint, there's volumetric scattering intensity. I'm going to put this at like 50, and then I think I'm just going to turn that back on for a split second and see... How oh, that looks. Yeah, that's like super intense. All right. So um, maybe we don't need 50. Let's do 30. And then uh, we'll leave everything else the same. Now, what I want to do, like I said, is have all the lights turn on when I hit that trigger, not just the last one. So to do that, um, I'm going to go into my event graph, grab my trigger, and then it's just this simple box right here, consume input. Uncheck that. So now when I go and hit play, we should have a pretty dramatic situation. Yeah, so all the lights turn on and I get the nice volumetric effect, which is actually kind of effective in, uh, in uh, VR. It's sort of helpful in a way. Um, so that is the very first blueprint.